expect the wind is really going to pick up uh, in just the next few hours as this storm moves over us. You can see it's still uh, more than 100 miles, about 150, 200 miles south of Atlanta. Macon is now very close to the center of the storm. Waynesboro very close to the center of the storm. That's where the eye wall, the strongest winds and the heaviest rain are occurring. You can still kind of see a sloppy eye moving just south of Warner Robins and Macon right now. So Edenton, you are very close uh, to the eye wall of this storm, which is moving actually towards Augusta. Augusta is going to get absolutely smacked, and this thing is actually going to kind of make a turn more to the northwest through the morning towards us here in metro Atlanta. The radar map completely lit up, guys. There is just a mess occurring. You see all these green boxes, which is encompassing literally most of North Georgia. Those are all flash flood warnings. Pretty much all of us are under a flood warning of some kind because of the heavy rain that has fallen overnight. And I kind of want to give you an idea of the estimated rainfall. This is just in the last 48 hours. The area in pink, which is most of Metro Atlanta, down to Griffin, Thomaston, LaGrange, South Metro, all of Gwinnett County, that is between six to nine inches of rain. For perspective, guys, that's as much rain as we get in two months. Two months that we've gotten in the last two days. That's the reason the flash flood threat is such a big deal. That's the reason that we're seeing the creeks and streams rise. And then when we talk about the rainfall rate, this is the rate at which the rain is falling. Some of the inner bands of the, these tropical rains can drop rainfall rates to four, possibly even six inches. See these little areas in pink? I'm seeing a couple of them in Meriwether County. I just wanted to query it for you. This is what's possible through the morning. OK, we've already gotten nine inches of rain, but with some of these tropical inner bands start working their way through Metro, we could see rainfall rates from five to six inches of hours uh, per hour. And we're going to get about four more hours of rain. So it is not out of the question that some areas see an additional half foot of rain. And that's the reason our flood threat is so high and our concern for flash flooding is so high. This is a product issued by the National Weather Service. This is a uh, very rare high risk for flash flooding, a 70% chance for flash flooding. And I just want to read you some of the text. I have a little cart right off of screen here where I can read information in from the National Weather Service. When they use wording like this, I'm actually just going to bring this cart right in here so you guys can see. When they issue, when they say wording like this, it is just incredible and you really got to take it seriously. And they are talking about Northeast Georgia for the mountains. They're saying numerous significant landslides and fast moving debris flows are possible. Additional rain totals from now from the event are expected to be four to eight inches. What we just talked about with up to 12 inches in the most upslope favored terrain. So in the mountains, it is not out of the question that later on today, when this eye moves over you, I would say for the higher elevations, it's between about 7 to 10 a.m. You could see an additional foot of rain. And you guys know in the mountains, flash flooding can happen so quickly. They are expecting incredible, incredible uh, uh, potential catastrophic flooding and uh, landslides and fast moving debris flows. So please take that seriously, guys. If you live in the mountains, uh, even if you live here, but especially in the higher elevations, significant flooding is still possible through the remainder of the morning. Here's a look at the rest of your day. You really probably just need to stay inside off the roads until at least 9 a.m. That's when it will start to improve here. That's when the rain will start to move out. It's still going to be quite windy through the rest of the day today, but by 3, 6 p.m. we'll have much better scope of the damage, and that's when we will feel more comfortable getting out and about and starting to, you know, survey the back your backyard and what's going on in your neighborhood, okay? Another big story that we didn't really talk about is the wind, which is going to get worse through the day today.